Like many other people out there, I don't really like to have my phone strapped on my bike, neither on the Tuono nor on the Africa Twin or any other motorcycle. I just much rather have my phone in my pocket. The problem is, today it's almost a necessity, so you need a phone holder so you can have maps, music, or whatever other app you use. Well, one car stereo came to the rescue and they sent this thing, which should avoid me putting my phone out there. And best of all, it's wireless Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. But now for the chit chat, let's see if it works. This is the One Car Stereo DPL 200. It's supposed to be about a 6.3 inches screen and it's similar to my phone. So if I get my phone out and this and I put it on top of each other, it's almost the same size. And that's one of the things I like about this thing. First of all, it's just like my phone. It does not cost <laughs> as much as my phone. So if this breaks down, I don't care. My phone is nice and safe. This is wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. It can do a whole bunch of things and can also give you the tire pressure on it. They send you special caps for your valve stem down there, which send the signal to this thing so you can monitor your tire pressure at all times. On top of that, it's supposed to be really, really bright. We're gonna go test it out in the sun. And this is obviously touch screen, but what if my gloves are not touch screen? Well, they thought about that too because they give you a little remote, but how easy is this thing to install? Well, first of all, uh, there is, uh, it comes with a semi, I don't know if we can call it a RAM mount, but you have a, an inch ball with a whole bunch of adapters to be able to install it on the handlebars. In theory, is a known destroying installation or a known, in, in simpler words, it's a simple one cable this one over here going from this thing to the battery and you get three terminals. So one is hot, one is ground and one is ignition. So that if you wire it that way, whenever you turn on the key, this thing turns on as well. And I think it's a good thing because when I shut off the key, I want this thing to turn off and not keep sucking power out of my battery. I don't have to cut anything and that pleases me to no end. I hate making permanent changes to the bike. Obviously being made for motorcycle, this has an IP67 rating. So in theory, waterproof and dustproof. Only time will tell, but uh, let's see how hard this thing is to install. Before I start running wires all over the motorcycles, let's see if that thing works. Let me find something that is on the ignition side of the power. So on the Tuono, the battery is under the seat. So let's remove the seat and keep going from there. Simple enough. Now that I know where to plug the different uh, terminals, I'm gonna attach the, the unit to the harness like this. And now let's uh, try it out without having to plug anything in. That should do. Power with power. Put this on uh, here. Let's see when I turn on the power. Oh, snap. There it is. There's a CBR in there. 
What? It's a CBR. All right, so this situation works. I'm gonna clean stuff up, catch up with you guys in a minute. This must have been the easiest installation I've done uh, so far, or at least top 10 easier. One cable, it went from the battery uh, for the positive, the frame for the negative, and I used the license plate light for the ignition. I didn't even have to uh, remove the fuel tank. I ran the wire on the side where uh, the flapper valve wires used to be. I don't have a flapper valve. If you have a flapper valve, you can run it in parallel with the flapper valve. And then came out under here. Very clean installation. When it comes to the bracket, uh, this is temporary. Uh, most likely I'm, I'm gonna make a low profile bracket so that the screen, it's almost sunken onto the to the plate, to the top plate of the handlebar. For now, this is working just fine. And when you turn on the key, there it is. Uh, I haven't paired the phone just yet. I'm gonna pair the phone and then we're gonna go test it out in the sunlight, see how good it is. But uh, let's uh, pair out the uh, tire pressure sensor and then a phone and then let's see how it goes. Okay, it's time to initialize the pressure sensors. Super easy, just touch that, and now you have a front wheel, rear wheel, you can choose bar or PSI, I want mine in PSI, and then uh, Celsius or Fahrenheit for the temperature. Uh, after that, you go start, you choose which wheel you want to start, and you go confirm. It's going to say binding over there. What you do, now you screw in the, the pressure sensor. It senses the pressure differential, and there it is, 35.2 and 24. Uh, Celsius. Same thing for the back and then once you have done both and you have both pressure 35.1 up front, 39.8 in the back. All right let's try to pair the phone with it. Uh, we need to go to setting first, Bluetooth, the blink whatchamacallit, I'm gonna click on it, pair, Let's see. Oh, look at that. And here we are, we're navigating. Now, I keep it in uh, dark mode all the times because it's set up with my phone and my phone is uh, in uh, night mode or dark mode, whatever. So, otherwise it is gonna have exactly uh, whatever setting you have on your uh, Google Maps. Now, let's see. Let's see if uh, my phone or um, my helmet is uh, only connected to my phone. So it's not connected to this thing. Which means, let's see what happens when, uh, when I start the music. If you start playing in my helmet or I need to connect the helmet to that thing or I keep calling it a thing it's uh, the <laughs> uh, DPL 200 from uh, one car stereo all right let's see let's start with uh, my super mix <laughs> not making fun of me I'm old and I have a uh, Matchbox 20 <laughs> plane. What if I want the maps uh, all the way? There it is. All right, this, this thing is working, uh, as advertised, is working really, really good. Uh, so 
I want it off and off again. Let's see, there he goes. Yeah, I'll recenter because I touched the thing. Can I play video games while I'm riding? Oh snap! No, he doesn't let me. <laughs> uh, good, very good. One last test I want to do is this. I want to shut off everything. Alright. Everything shuts off. The music is still going, which I like. No, nope, the music just stopped. I want to turn it back on. And I want to see if me, without doing anything, this thing will uh, auto-connect again. Start the bike. There you go. The little Android Auto. Boom. Now, can this thing take a wheelie? Or is gonna fall off? Well, it looks like he's still attached. So, the willy test uh, works. So everything seems to work. I'm liking... Uh, I'm liking this uh, one car stereo DPL uh, 200 a lot. Is exactly is exactly what I wanted on the on the Tuono. And because uh, I don't want to keep my phone there and risk uh, getting it broken or with the vibration the camera is gonna get all destroyed and so that does uh, pretty good. Well this is it for today. Uh, for the link of this product check the description down below as always. Thank you very much to my patrons. This one is a freebie guys so It'll be free for my patrons to, to watch uh, ahead of time. And uh, thank you very much to everybody else. As always, die a tutti, and I'll see you next time.